In the case of capacitors, when we connect a capacitor to a battery, negative charges are going to move from the negative lead to the end that's attached to that negative lead. And these negative charges are going to repel the negative charges that are in here. So they are going to be pushed to the positive lead of the battery. As a result, this end of the capacitor is going to be positively charged and the other end is going to be negatively charged with the exact same charge. Now, if we take a wire and connect the ends, these charges are going to combine and our overall charge is going to become zero and the potential difference is going to become zero. One use of a capacitor is in flash photography. In flash photography, we need a huge amount of charges to move through the light bulb over a short amount of time. Batteries cannot provide that. So the way it is done with flash photography, the capacitor is going to be connected to the battery for a while. So it's going to build up a charge. And it's going to be somewhat like this. When we press to take a flash picture, a picture with a flashlight, then the capacitor is going to discharge through that light bulb. So we are going to have a burst of charge that moves through that light bulb, giving us that burst of a motor flight.